Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So you guys know, free arenas once again this week, and it's happening again next week. I gotta do them on my free-to-play accounts, because, well, you get one of the upcoming packs for just playing three games. If you just lose three, you still get that. And because I don't really care about the results when I do like a one-off arena on an alt account or anything, I try to have a little bit of fun. And I started by mostly picking face classes. I was doing like face warriors last week. As you saw from a previous video, I did like face palette. Actually a lot of fun. So um, I thought I'd maybe uh, try a few other things. I wanted to make like a pure face hunter. Went through with that. And as it turns out, uh, I ended up drafting a 77, I don't know, 0.2 or something hunter deck. Which is really insane. Um, the best decks I've ever drafted, and I have played, you know, over over 14,000 arena games or whatever. Um, best deck I've ever drafted, 78 point mage. I've had that happen twice. I don't think I have any other decks at 78 or 77 until this one. But it's more than that. A lot of the aggressive classes in Hearthstone generally sport pretty low card quality because... The cards themselves aren't that good, but they become good when you have a lot of things that do the same thing. So, you know, if you think about a card like, you know, Wolf Rider, like a three cost, three one charger, it's it's a pretty bad card because usually if you're playing a standard deck, you just use that as three damage to trade into your opponent's minions. But if you're playing a hunter deck and you have a lot of face cards and you happen to have like five Wolf Riders or something, it's actually a lot better than normal because, um, you have a lot of faced cards, and that is very consistent with your win conditions. So what ends up happening is hunters and rogues and a few of the other face classes, um, they usually have deck scores that are fairly underrepresented to how strong the deck is. So a 77-point hunter, I think, is really as good as it gets playing hunter and the reason i want to emphasize that is the main thing that i learned from playing this arena run is that despite having what may just be the best hunter deck i've seen i still had the exact same problems of the worst hunter decks i've ever had like i would just get absolutely crapped on if my opponent was going first with a one drop that's it you know i'm playing hunter if I'm going to win, I have to do some early game chip damage. If my opponent has a one drop and he's going first, if I have like a 63 point hunter, or if I have the best hunter deck I've ever had, I'm still probably going to lose that game. I think it's one of the few instances in Hearthstone where deck quality doesn't matter because the imbalance in the early game, the first versus second and one drop versus no one drop, is just so gigantic and counter to what you're trying to do to win the game. And you're trying to face before you run out of cards, you're going to pretty quickly, by the way, if you're playing this type of deck, that it's, uh, it's definitely reassured me why I don't pick Hunter. Hunter overall is one of the better classes right now. And it's certainly been a bit of an underdog, but in the right hands, it's a fairly high skill class that can put up some really good results. I imagine that's going to be the case for the future to come, but it's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating playing really well and, you know, finally getting a, a deck that works. But, well, the matchup and the coin flip RNG at the start just crushes you. And, well... At least there's a few fun moments playing a fairly dynamic class, and hopefully you get some of that in the clips to come. But don't expect me to play too many more Hunters in the future, despite really my Hunter results being pretty good as of late. Enjoy the clips, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Pretty good start. And hunt. Let's go with the Beast 1 drop. Uh, sure, yeah. In this case, I will go for a... For a YOLO one. Doesn't appear to be much of a joke deck.
Let's start it up. Oh my god. This was supposed to be a joke. Dude, it's still going. What the hell is this deck? Take an El Primo one drop. Warrior's a little clunky, but let's see. Dude, this is bullshit. You would have trapped there? We want to trap a bigger minion later if we can. How does he have every single fucking answer? The problem with Warrior is that you never have the right answer. Sure didn't seem like that right now. What now? So at least, if I pick Dynamancy over Hydra, sure. Mind if I roll need? Shields up. Well, he appears to be out of cards here. Apparently I have lots of cards. Okay. I didn't realize that card could be any shittier. 
Well, maybe it's not, because he procs off of himself, right? Hmm. Side effects? No. Trust me. That opener is really bad for me. As good as uh, this hunter might be. Fuck. It's still Hunter. Going second against uh, a deck with a solid one drop equals lose. Huffer is by far the worst. Demolisher. It's <sighs> probably okay. Damn, I got hit though. Oh, another answer. Yeah, this is over. I've done zero damage, use my coin, have no board control. 77 point deck, who gives a crap? you replay that? It must have a lot of spells, I don't know. It is really fucking weird, I agree. What to do? What to do? I wonder. What's this guy doing? The gates are open. Top deck fire lands on turn seven after hitting it with a demolisher. This is such absolute bullshit. <sighs> yeah, I got really wrecked, but there really was not much I could do. Shiny. Hero cards next week. Oh, that's interesting. I need a blessing. Now for my next trip. Same card. Oh, come on! What the fuck? Put this apple on your head. I should have attacked first. That's my bad. And punished for it. I'm never lucky right now, and he is just insanely lucky. <laughs> this is such a one-sided match. Another perfect answer. Oh, he got a better one than I did. This is bullshit.
weak plays, but absolutely godlike RNG compared to my pretty unlucky on every single thing I drew or played. Another mage. It's almost unbelievable. Playing on Asia, by the way. Tougher, but often enough. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. It's a huge 50 If this misses, I think he's fucked. Doesn't miss. Please. Sure. Lava. Drink the power. Hey, catch. Okay. I do like that card a lot, actually. Sick shaman deck helped by uh, my tips and her three now. Congrats. Top deck polymorph. And he got Shadow Madness. Absolutely fucking destroyed by RNG once again. How's that active? Kim. Damn, that's a really good draw. So it doesn't get top. Sure, he'd love to roll the dice again. It's been working out for him really fucking well so far. Fuck. 
first kill. Should be fine as long as it doesn't get a pyro for the Kabbalist. He hasn't had one yet. Hey, what? Oh shit! Alright, looks like we're going final boss mode. Yeah, Shaman's like playing some overstated shit that might be hard to deal with, so we're gonna keep that. I think I gotta take on risks. This is uh, quite bad against the Maelstrom Portal. Lightning Storm would clear me out anyway. Hmm. Worst one again. I can't believe how unlucky I am constantly with this deck. I guess I'm at 11 wins. Deck quality is pulling through. This document looks legally binding. <sighs> I should have kept the wolf. Dude, that's a lot of hindsight. Oh. Through volcano last turn. Must be nice to get perfect answers every single turn. things. Fuck. I don't know. We want to wait until they change how the packs work so we don't get duplicate legendary and stuff.